course, not every adaptation is authorized. Fan projects do deserve a place in the conversation, too, since, you know, the Rankin-Bass cartoon wasn't authorized either. And out of all the fan projects I've encountered, the most creative was Hobbiton USA. This wasn't a mere piece of fan art, fanfic, or even a fan film. This was a fan-made tourist trap. This was a walking trail in Northern California that had dioramas of different scenes from the story and speaker boxes narrating the scenes. It was clearly not the most expensive representation, but it had the same kind of handcrafted charm that I love from like prehistoric gardens and tourist traps like that. My Tolkien-loving family stumbled across this completely by accident when we were driving through Northern California and we were just blown away. More by the fact that it existed than by the execution itself, but we still very much enjoyed the execution. While an even more condensed version of the story than the cartoon, with even less of the humor and characterization, the unexpected joy of discovering this experience overflowing with creative presentation and homemade charm definitely put it in my top two favorite adaptations of The Hobbit. But sadly, Hobbiton USA no longer exists. It was closed down long ago, and most of its elements are rotted away, vandalized, or outright stolen. It's sad that I'll never get to experience it in person again, but there is still another adaptation that I love even more. 